What's going on guys? Gingerbreadman77 coming at you 4K through the power of the Xbox One X. And here I just wanted to bring my uh, non-pet Magicka Sorcerer build with the Overload build. This is the pretty much exact same setup. I'm sorry, hold on one second. I gotta fix this. Sorry, what, the way I... Um, before, like, it's it's plugged into the computer because I don't have a proper microphone set up. I hear myself echo in my head. It drives me nuts. So with this build, it's just tweaked a little bit differently. Um, it's still overload. We are using um, Bright Throat instead of Necropotence, and then that's obviously why we dropped the pet. And then instead of using Twilight, we are using Inner Light on the front bar to give us uh, more max magic and crit. And then power surge in the back bar to help out with healing. Now that's the only downfall with this build is the fact that we lose that burst heal. But at the same time, as long as you're putting out damage, <laughs> you're going to be healing no matter what. And I have, I'll be posting videos of a few one v ones, a couple two v twos, and I don't remember if I one v x or not in my last stream, but. Basically, it's as long as you're doing damage, you're going to be healing yourself quite a bit. And then Dark Conversion is also like our secondary heal, but this is our main heal because we'll have this up at all times, but obviously you want to use Dark Conversion to get that, that second heal in. Um, no Resto Staff on the back bar. Uh, we're using Sword and Board. And instead of using Necropotence, we are using Bright Throat. Now, I know this is an expensive set to get. I already had Bright Throat, so that's why I tried it out. It's going to give you max magic and Magicka Recovery all across the board. I do suggest uh, golding everything out so you can get those max stats. So it would, be, it would say uh, 2,000 max magic and either 200 or 250 recovery for the five piece bonus. Sword and board on the back bar. I like, you can either use a precise sword or a defending sword. It doesn't matter. Uh, defending obviously for more resistances, but I like using Precise because um, your Dark Conversion can crit heal for you, and you can also crit heal while you're on your back bar on the defense off the bottom of Storm. So it, I just went towards the more healing aspect rather than defense. And instead of Engine Guardian, we're using Bloodspawn. Bloodspawn can work for both builds, I just happen to have it on my non pet build because it works. <laughs> it, I have Overload like within. 20 seconds, almost all the way up to 500 ulti. It, it's, it's awesome. Uh, Blood Spawn is definitely the way to go with Mag Sword these days, even on uh, Pelican's build. Uh, it's obviously better to have 511. I just have light and medium at the moment. I haven't, I've been too lazy to go get like a heavy piece, but obviously you want for full undaunted 511. Still using spinners. Spinners is great. And then what I have set up for my jewelry is an infused necklace with spell damage, and then bloodthirsty jewelry with mag recovery. So let's see, fully buffed up. The potion, on the storm. So it's not five gold stars; it's four white stars with mag recovery of 1905, 43,000 max magic, 2,300 spell damage, and that's without continuous attack. Yeah, that's without continuous. So if you hit continuous, you're right around 20, 2700, I think. And then your resistances will go up to... They will go up to 26,000 spell resistance and like 25,000 physical resistance when blood spawn procs. Crit resistance could be better, but I've been very comfortable with the way the build's set up right now. Um, front bar stats. 22,000 max health, 15,000 max stamina, that's plenty. And then, uh, if you noticed, the drink buff just went away. I'm not going to waste another potion, but stamina recovery was just under 1,000. Perfect. Blood spawn really helps out with that. You can dark conversion as much as you want to. I have zero stamina recovery in... I thought I just heard somebody. <laughs> I have zero stamina... Oh, there is somebody over here. Let's go fuck them up. He's a tank. He's taking a lot of damage though for a tank. That dude had a lot of max magic. 
Is he really gonna come back? He's really gonna come back. Showing off the build, appreciate it. Um, I don't have any points in stam recovery, so go into the champion points here real quick. 66 in the Warlord, you want to have large amount in there for break free. You get CC every five seconds in cereal. It's so fucking annoying. Six percent into Sprinter, so you can help out with your Boundless buff. Uh, one into Siphoner. 76 in Arcanist, 49 to Healthy to boost that health recovery. 34 in Tumbling, 34 in Shadow War, give you a flat 14% between both of them, and then one in Befoul, because we are running a Disease Glyph on our uh, Inferno staff. 66 in Elfborn, 56 in Atlee Expert, 47 in Spell Erosion. This is going to go really well with your spell penetration, and when you're overloading people, their resistances aren't going to be able to handle it, and you fucking nuke them. 35 in the Staff Expert, notice how it goes with your overload still. Uh, Increases your damage done with light and heavy attacks, destruction, and restoration stabs, as well as overload by 20%. So it's like a free elegant set. Master at Arms is running 22%. Nothing in this tree. 66 in the Ironclad, 28 in Spell Shield, 54 in the Resistance, 28 in the Light Armor, 37, 37, Ellie and Hardy. And then I put 20 in a Bastion just to buff your shields a little bit. Bastion does actually work, I, I was testing it. So that's it with the Champion Tree. We are still a High Elf. We are running Tri. Um, I can never say this right. Spring Loaded Infusion. Because we are running Bright Throat. So in the five piece of Bright Throat, while you have a drink buff active, your max magic is increased by 1953 and recovery by 147. So all in all, the build is pretty much the same, minus a set and a few abilities. Um, the as you saw in that little one VM one right here. <laughs> You still want to hit, hit him with a curse, then destruction reach, and um, I can't speak. <laughs> Weaving your overload ability, your overload attacks in between each ability, and then hit him with that frag to just finish him off. And Bloodthirsty works really nicely too. Um, one of the food, just the high elf, and yeah. So that is the updated non pet build. Is this guy back? Ah, uh, it's that sort. I hate this guy. Um, I don't hate him. He's just a good sort. I give you props, bro. So that's the build for the non-pet magic sort build. I appreciate it, guys. And I will be uploading this probably after the stream's over. I think we're at five. Yeah, we're just oh, we're almost at six hours. Not bad. Why not craft the elf feet? Because I don't like that set. <laughs> I'm comfortable with the way I have things set up. And, uh... It works for me, so I, I just stick with what works and what I'm comfortable with. Uh, maybe I'll try it eventually someday, but as of right now, it's just that's how I like to play. I appreciate it, guys. I'll see you in the next video.